in reality, they'd spent zero money on marketing online. Didn't pay a marketing firm. Didn't do custom website. Didn't really work on GMB even. The, the only didn't thing they social had social media was they they did have a GMB account that was not tricked out, but they had it. The only thing they had going for them was their reviews. It sounds like that was the only thing they had going for them. And yeah. the fact that I believe the fact that they were one of the first to market on GMB, yeah, made them stay high in ranking. Right. Here's my issue with it as a as a. Um, Martin company owner, it is the, it is, and, and, and I'm not, I don't wish ill will for this, this guy or anything by any means. Um, it's just that guys, Martin's extremely important. So if you have a one trick pony deal going and you realize you have it, why don't you spend money towards that? Cause there's so, this isn't uncommon, right? If you've the, got a one trick pony and somebody shoots the pony, you're in trouble. Hey there guys, it's Nolan and Jason here with Roofing Webmasters. How's it going? Howdy. Um, this is going to be a true client story. And I don't even know what to, uh, uh, how about, uh, I need to title it. How about a uh, GMB nightmare? Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> GMB <nightmare>. Roofing uh, <laughs> GMB nightmare. How about that? I don't know. Uh, roofing Google my business nightmare. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Anyway, so I was talking to this guy. And I believe he became a client, but this is a really interesting story. I mean, I find this one fascinating. I, I find it fascinating on a different, you know why I find it, from a different marketing level of what this gentleman should have done, right. you know, should have been doing. And I would argue that this horrible problem that happened on GMB would have been avoided had he spent any money on marketing with people. If he had done the other parts of his marketing. Because he would have been privy to more of this knowledge and somebody would have said, hey, like we would have said, uh, don't do that. You know, so <laughs> I don't even want to tell it yet. So what <laughs> what happened was I'll lay out the groundwork that, and, and of course we don't, I'm not even mentioning it. I don't even want to mention a state on this or anything. Just no names yeah, of not. any clients or anything. <laughs> but so this, but this is really interesting. He was doing four to $5 million a year, had nice. 30 people on staff, which is a ton for a roofer. Because that's, a, that's a big roofing company for a Because they sub guy. everybody. Yeah. So, I mean, he's talking like employed people. This yeah, that, that, that means office people and foremen and stuff. You know, yeah, yeah, it does. Project it does, project like management yeah. and stuff like that. So he's that's got- a lot of roofs. So he's doing all these roofs. Guess why he's doing them? He got up high in map ranking early on. Just map ranking, right? Yeah. Did he even have a website? He had a website, it was pretty bad. But it was just really basic. Yeah, okay. he never worked on it. But he but he worked on reviews. But there worked he, on. worked on reviews. <laughs> and so and and I I'm I'm not even, I'm gonna tell you why he, so the basically and I'll explain to this a little bit later, basically he had the GMB removed by Google for violating their quality guidelines. But when this happens, they will not tell you what you did wrong. Yeah, what he just said, quality guidelines, that's as much as they tell you. That's actually they, they what they say. They won't tell you exactly what rule you broke. You have violated quality guidelines and you're therefore the site, uh, the, the GMB account is down. Right. So everything that he had, and he thought that he door knocked, and I say that because people, there's true door knockers and there's like half-stepping door knockers. Yeah. He was, a, he was a half stepping door knocker. Some people call it the six pack or the eight pack. They go out and do a job and they knock a few or if hail hits, they get there. Yeah, they, they knock the doors in the neighborhood they're already in. Right. Yeah. I will tell you this, his salespeople were allowed to be lazy because so many leads were coming in. Right. So they didn't, they weren't true door knockers. Right. And, and that was bad because when he lost the ranking, um, he, he didn't have the lead generation he didn't have apparatus leads, in and place. And then the yeah. salespeople weren't conditioned to knock doors. And so the very next year, I might add, during a hailstorm, I didn't tell you this part about it, it was during a hailstorm, they went down to 1.5 million. So from like 4.5 to like 1.5. I just did that. I can't whistle right now. <laughs> You want to tell people? <laughs> I have a, um, I got a bad ear infection. I've developed Bell's palsy, and this side of my face is uh, partially paralyzed. And so, if you see me looking funny, don't take it personal. That's what I'm telling everybody. It's right supposed now. to go back or, to normal. It, it, it will. Yeah. It's it's a temporary thing. But right now, I look like Quasimodo when I laugh. Yeah, it's, I don't so, think anybody cares. <laughs> and I just, like, well, you said it. I tried to go woo and do a whistle, and it was like. 
That's it's like how my face feels. It's Definitely. horrible and funny all at the same time. Um, yeah, so it's not that bad. There's worse things, man. I guess the case. What the case I've got is who the heck wants that? Very mild. Yeah. And now I have something in common with Jim Ross, the wrestling announcer. So, yeah. You know, that that's my that's Jason my, is a wrestling that's enthusiast my for you, you guys who don't know. So so this business went down. He's on the phone. You know, to Google saying, please, please help me. Please help me. What did we do to offend you? You know, <laughs> um, we're laying off good people. You're causing these people. Reality is all those people just got jobs that whoever else moved up. Right. And in the ranking. <clears throat> and so he does get the. GMB account to go back up. They said, okay, we'll put back up That's your That's practically a miracle, by the way. Well, it wasn't, I'm sorry, let me rephrase it. It wasn't the GMB account. It was a new GMB account. Okay. So they put up a new GMB account. And guys, f what happened here in this situation is that the client was fairly lucky in the fact that they got on to Google Maps early on and right. they had some sort of tenure that was riding a coattail on the algorithm, right, and staying up and ranking. But in reality, they'd spent zero money on marketing online. Didn't pay a marketing firm. Didn't do custom website. Didn't really work on GMB even. The, the only didn't thing they had social media. was they, they did have a GMB account that was not tricked out, but they had it. The only thing they had going for them was their reviews, it sounds like. That was the only thing they had going for them. And yeah. the fact that I believe the fact that they were one of the first to market on GMB. Yeah made them stay high in ranking. Right. Here's my issue with it as a as a um, marketing company owner. It is the it is and, and, and I'm not I don't wish ill will for this this guy or anything by any means. Um, it's just that guys marketing's extremely important. So if you have a one trick pony deal going and you realize you have it why don't you spend money towards that? Because there's so this isn't uncommon, right? If you've the, got a one-trick pony and somebody shoots the pony, you're in trouble. Yeah, so I mean, this is a pretty big pony, though. It's Google, right? Yeah. It's Google Map, and so and, and our company does hordes of effort on Google Map nowadays, from from work on that GMB account to the website to righteous reviews and reputation management integration, and helping a client get as many reviews as possible, um, but. Um, he spent zero money on it, like zero. And then he spent, here's my problem with it, he spent like a year, a year and a half, just trying to deal with this with Google and still didn't pay a marketing company until he called. Now he called us after everything had gone away almost. Like it's, yeah. the only reason that there was still volume on the table, by the way, is because there was a horrific storm, a horrific hail storm, yeah. which is great, if you're a roofer. If you're a roofer, but that was the only thing. So the next year, it's going to be, you know, possibly completely out of business, you know, done. Um, and so the fact when somebody has something going in marketing, it's really important that you pay attention to it. Now, I'll tell you what happened with it. Uh, what he did wrong was that he was paying. We believe. Well, true. Yeah, we know this, this is a violation of Google quality yeah. guidelines. He, he told us everything he had done, and we sussed out where he went wrong from that. Correct, sussed out. I, I like that one too. That's a, <laughs> that's a good one, man. Sussed out. Um, but he um, he was paying clients for reviews, which is against the quality guidelines. Like right? like giving discounts. Or hey, here's a fifty dollar credit card. Um, or guard fifty for bucks review. to Starbucks if uh, if you give us a review. Okay. So that's a direct violation, and it was taught uh, through his company. He thinks that a mad ex uh, employee ratted him out, but it was probably easy to paper trail this, or somebody might have recorded it. I don't really know. Yeah. You know, I don't know what happened with that, but. It was a violation. It could have been something else because we weren't there. But my argument for this whole thing would be if someone had been engrossed in marketing and paying proper attention to it, you know, you would have known some of this possibly or someone would have warned you against it or you just would have been privy to this because you were... Yeah, if you had a good marketing company and you would tell you, hey, get reviews. Oh, I do that now. I'll give them a free gift card. 
stop. If you're it. making that kind of money, it is completely remiss to to just not know anything about marketing. Right. You know, right. so he should have known something about marketing. And at least he's trying to do something now. But guy, this is the mentality or and method of a lot, a lot of these guys, you know. Yeah. And not and here's the other part of this, Jason. Could he have gotten even more business? Because he had no organic and he was limited on the GMB because he didn't have it bled out to your if he had increased page content and everything else, the, the map would have shown up even better on more keywords. He would have had organic. In a broader area, more, more than likely. More yeah. than likely. He could have had uh, all kinds of stuff going. Could have gotten and and here's the thing. If you're doing something like that, it is possible in local SEO to just set up a good GMB and get reviews and show up in mapping without a website. It's possible. It's possible. But. This was the anomaly, though. Yeah. yeah. The, the problem with that is... If you have a competitor who comes in, let's say you're doing that and you're showing up good for whatever your business is, and you're just like, ha ha, I have screw those SEO guys, I know better than they do, I have discovered the secret sauce, and you're doing that. Yeah. And then you have a competitor come in, and they do, they do a good GMB, and they start getting reviews, and then they have a good company like Roofing Webmasters, who comes in and does an amazing website, manages and tricks that GMB out and everything else, they are going to take your top spot. Right. Period. Yeah, that's how the that's how the algorithm works. Right. It judges all this good work. Actually, so he got a new GMB account and got the old reviews put on it. I'm shocked. I'm I'm shocked that they did that because that's normally that that's hard to get them to agree to. But it wasn't uh, it wasn't showing up in ranking still. Yeah. So since this is such a well, because it was a new GMB account, it was no longer grandfathered in. Correct. The old correct. Business. Yeah. And. For all we know, there's some sort of penalty against the initial group of, of uh, reviews. Yeah. We're, uh, we are dealing with it right now, and we're looking at multiple factors. There are some really basic stuff that hadn't been done in a year and a half. Did you know what the most basic thing that hadn't been done to that GMB account was? What? Just guess what hadn't been done. It was a new GMB account. Was oh, it wasn't verified. It wasn't right? verified. Oh, my God. <laughs> So okay, yeah. first step: fill out the form, then click the verify button. That's that's, a, that, yeah. that's the first so the, thing you have to do. Yeah, the new GMB account that he'd been trying to get going for the last eight months that he'd had it up, and all this work and all this hubbub had not been verified. So the first thing we're doing is verifying the account, right? And then based upon a lot of chatter online, because this is as we have hundreds of clients, but this is kind of unprecedented. This doesn't happen enough to like know for sure. This yeah. is actually really good information for us to have within the company at this point to have a situation like this. But what we're doing first is we're verifying it. Right. And then we're gonna wait about 60 days. If it doesn't respond, we're gonna assume a, you know, lifelong penalty to this thing or something. Yeah. So if, and if that's the case, he literally has to start a new GMB, disassociate and start over again with it. Yeah, without those reviews, without those without reviews. the tainted reviews, without or the tainted, if they're tainted. If yeah, they're not. I, I mean, a lot of this is conjecture on our part. And the thing is, Google. I, I like to say that Google doesn't tell us anything. That's not really true. They tell us a lot, but not enough. It's not fair. So we talked about this <laughs> and we joked about it. You know, if this guy knew, or if people know, hey, you don't know. It, it's like. I mean, it's really pretty rough to to punish someone so badly that had absolutely no idea. Now, I mean, th but this is an ignorance of the law type situation because this is pretty major stuff to the, you know, to the storefront he was doing business in, which was Google, right? Right. No shoes, no shirt, no service, and they, they have some guidelines, pretty basic stuff. And uh, But he didn't know, and it seems so unfair that he just loses the whole business. Right? The word is draconian. Yeah, could they go in and like cut a pinky off? <laughs> or like, hey, Google, I'm sorry. Like, well, how sorry are you? You know? <laughs> are you really not going to do it again? Yeah. It's like, well, you need to leave some sort of... And the thing is, this guy wasn't... A tribute. This isn't like... The guy wasn't being like super dishonest. He wasn't faking reviews. He, he wasn't, wasn't having his friends and family leave false reviews. No. He was taking clients that were happy, and he was simply incentivizing them to give him a review. That's correct. 
And if it, and it so it doesn't even seem like it's that bad, but it doesn't feel it. bad. But it is kind of a payola scenario. Yeah. And he was, uh, he is. I mean, I get why Google doesn't want you to do it. Yeah. But it's not at the same level as people who straight up fake reviews. He's a nice guy too, by yeah. the way. He's a. This isn't like a rude character. This is a really nice guy. Yeah. And he he uh, probably, when he thought, oh, I'll give him a gift card, he probably thought he had a great idea. He's a salesy he, oriented guy. Yeah, probably thought it was totally above board to do yeah, that. Yeah, he wasn't doing it from any malicious standpoint. So it really does seem like, you know, can I wear a scarlet letter, you know, um, you know, for, scarlet R. A scarlet <laughs> S for spam or something. Or what would you do? What's the R for? Reviews. Reviews. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Scarlet Roofer. Scarlet, yeah, GMB, I don't know, like, or you could like, you know, shame, you shame. could brand it to your forehead, <laughs> you could, you know, I don't you know. brand the, the, the Google map. <laughs> <to your forehead. laughs> what, if, what if you were nicer about it and you just like had an arm tat, you know, yeah. like just Google, uh, okay, well, we'll take some free marketing, you know. We'll take a pound of flesh and then you can have your review. We'll give you the Mike Tyson Google face. You know? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so you're making you're making the quasi face. I like that one. Don't See, laugh, over Jason. here, Jason looks serious. Over here, Jason looks there happy. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, Google could say, like, "Look, look, this is egregious, and we need a tribute." It's like, well, do you want to do a finger or uh, or some advertising? You know. It's like, <laughs> Your wife's pretty good looking. How about uh, how about a little tattoo right there? You know? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, and, and honestly, some people would choose that over this. It does seem unfair, but it is a business's responsibility to understand some of the guidelines. And I think no shoes, no shirt, no service is a really, really good analogy because you are doing business on their platform. They're allowing you to. It's not. It's, it's their pool. Don't pee in it. People view Google like a, some sort of government entity. Like it's their natural born right to be on that platform. Yeah. And it and absolutely it's, is it's not. It's private. It's a private <laughs> entity. It's they theirs. can do whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. Within the law, of course. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so. What, and even then there's some questions. <laughs> this is fair. They don't, I mean, you don't want payola on reviews because it jeopardizes the validity of that structure, which jeopardizes the entire Google business. Right. So, they don't want spam and stuff to jeopardize what someone's going to see and experience. Otherwise, they might go to a different search engine. So if you're doing, that is probably the best advice for you. If you don't know what the Google Webmaster Guidelines are, which you can easily research and go review. But um, they're actually, when you sign up for GMB, yeah. all of that information is that long document that you skip past and say accept. Yeah. Read it. Do not just skip it and say, I never read that crap. Read but every it. time you do something, you should say, would this hurt Google's business potentially? Yeah. Is this against something they might want? You and know? and when, he, when he says, will this hurt Google's business, what he means is, will this cause less eyeballs on Google.com, meaning less ad revenue? Yes. That's their business. So if all the reviews were baked up and weren't real, people were calling roofers and getting poor quality services, because a guy with a 4.7, because he'd given that $100 gift card, should have had a 3.2. That's bad for Google's business, right? right? And that's, that's probably what happened in this case. I am very hopeful that we're going to be able to, you know, bring that, the one that he has back now with the reviews, but we will find out. And we will do what's best and then start the good fight and, and get all of it going. We're actually working on it now before the site goes live immediately. Right, yeah, we started the we started the, the GMB effort before. Yeah, the GMB effort right now. Um, that's a good one, guys. And I guess, my again, my, my take on this, and I didn't share this with the client, it's just that, and it's not, listen, it's not like everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes to this day. This is just a really rough one. And so, uh, you know, why don't you take this as a, point of caution, treat marketing seriously uh, online and be serious about it. You can't, you can't get rid of every potential bad thing that's gonna happen in life, but to not market, and in his mind he probably was though. You know, he probably thought he was. He was yeah. doing all that he could do, but all that he could do was to increase that one thing. Yeah. I am shocked by the way. This is a hell stricken town and area, one of the top two states, I will say that, uh, probably for hail, which you can, 
any roofer knows which two there are, I think. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're in one of them. We're in, in this, but um, and and uh, and I'm the amount of business volume coming off of that GMB is stupendous. And I think he was even shocked at how much of the business was dependent on that. So you're talking, you're talking three million dollars a year. And my brain can't do the math with that a fast. minimal marketing effort. What's well, three million divided by ten thousand? So it's like a three hundred. Don't ask me to do math. That's three hundred, and if they were twenty thousand dollar roofs, it's one hundred and fifty. Yeah, I think anywhere from one hundred and fifty to three hundred. Ten thousand to a hundred thousand, a hundred to a million, right? And then like, so yeah, I mean he he lost like. 150 to 300 roofs a year instantly. Wow. Instantly. And then, um, yeah, anyway. But, yeah, I, I uh, hopefully it'll work out for him. But I, I think it's a great one to, to listen to. Be careful of Google guidelines. And spend some money with some quality people so you have expert counsel to help you with this stuff. It's Nothing's ever a guarantee entirely. The chances of this happening would have been severely diminished, I think. Right. 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 Like, kind of very severely diminished. And if this individual had been working on a broader scope of marketing to under, try to understand it a little bit more, very well could have been privy to this knowledge, right, on it. I do think they should tell, though, you know, what like you did. Like what you did wrong. I think the problem is... And that, I, that's actually, you know, if, if, if you were to pinpoint anything that Google <clears throat> is not transparent about that bothers me the most, it's that. that it's like, hey, this GMB is suspended, this GMB was shut down, well, why? From ignorance and of the rules. it's always a violation of guidelines. Ignorance that, of the rules. Yeah, that, that's the answer. We had a client uh, a while back that their GMB got shut down. And we were managing it, and we knew we hadn't done anything wrong on it. Right. And all we would get was the violation of policy. This was you know, a pretty bad violation, as I Yeah. Well, yeah, this, yeah. This, was a, this was a horrible, like, you yeah. deserve this, you're a jerk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. And this guy, now, now th th this is a double whammy, because it turned out the, the dude finally admitted to us that he was going to his competitors in his immediate oh, area. Oh, somebody else, I was thinking. And then doing suggest a public edit and saying this business is closed. <laughs> now, that's bad, but when you get, th this goes into bad and stupid, because he was logged into his Google account tied to his own GMB when doing it. Oh so my gosh. that's why he got suspended. And at that point, we're like, yeah, you have to start a new GMB and possibly rename your business. You are tainted for all time, and you deserve it. What happened to him as a client here? Uh, he, I think he's actually still a client. Well, he had to start over. Yeah, right? he had to start over. He had no choice. And it's like, you did something. So not all of it started dirt. over, guys. Just so you know, the GMB started over, but Google would have still left the organic rankings up. Right. But GMB right. is a lot of it nowadays, right? Yeah, the GMB is so tied into it now. It's tough without that, GMB. Yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. can't just have GMB. You can't just have website. You need them both. So I thought you were talking about a client that we had that went and got all their friends and family's addresses and started plugging them like crazy. And then... Oh, oh to encourage, like to say they had locations. Yeah. yeah. So, so There's so that one too. <laughs> houses are not available anymore. And if you just start adding all this bogus locations... Eventually, a human Google reviewer will come up and research it and go, well, this is all... This is obviously... Obviously <laughs> bull. And then the problem is they slap down all of them except the one that they think is real. Or or the one that they decide is going to be real, which in the case... If, if it's the one I think uh, I think I you're talking about, what happened they picked it. one in a tiny outlying oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. town. Yeah. <laughs> and all, the real good location was shut down. Yeah, And it was just like... I mean, if we hadn't done this. The guy had gone into his own GMB, after, you know, yeah, we didn't behind know. us, and added all these. And I go in, and I'm like, you know, he's saying, like, "Hey, we're not showing up." And I go and look, and I said, "Oh, well, your your GMB is this your this isn't your main address, is it?" And he goes, "No, that's that's so we, that, that's like, like my cousin's snake farm or something." <laughs> <laughs> and I go and look, and there's like twelve suspended locations. And we're like, "Where did all these like, come well, from?" Well, I thought that would increase my. And I'm like, "Dude, why didn't you?" bias first. Yeah, like we can't stop everything. I mean, maybe this would have happened anyway with this guy. I would tell you what might have been different, though, is that he was picking up a lot of organic traffic off the website. The website that he had was so horrible, it didn't show up at all. Yeah. So he would have still had, he wouldn't have been hit so hard. Instead of doing four and a half million, he would have been doing six million. Right. And then when he went down, he would have gone down to three, not one and a half, because he had, 
his uh, organic going. He had social media. He might have, you know, paid or whatever. He had other things going. Yeah. Instead, he loses all that, and it's hard to rebuild all of it instantaneously. We just went to, uh, we just attended State of Search in Dallas uh, earlier this week, yeah. this year. And interestingly, there's all these talk about uh, factors off the website that Google is now using as ranking factors and all this other stuff. But uh, the, the thing that everyone still agrees on is that despite people for the last 10 years predicting that the small business website will go away, yeah. people have been saying that forever, all of the experts in the field are still saying, oh, no, your website is still the, f the focus, the center hub of your marketing effort. And a lot of the Google algorithmic clues on how to show your map up and other things about your business. Right. So, yeah. Well, I don't want to get too much more into that because those are other podcast topics. Yeah, that true I'm enough. Saving, true enough. Know? We can go. We but, can go yeah. into. We can go uh, deep dive on a different one. Yeah. All right, guys. That was an interesting one. Hope you enjoyed it. We look forward to hearing from you someday. Take it easy. Bye. -bye.